Hello and welcome to CSC 253, Advanced C Sharp Programming. My name is Alan and in this series I will be providing you with a deeper understanding of the C Sharp language as well as the .NET framework and look at how it can help us develop programs with even greater functionality. The purpose of this first video is to let viewers such as yourself know what to expect from the series as well as making sure you already have the basic foundation needed to understand the material to its fullest. Before you consider beginning this series, you should already have a good understanding of basic C-sharp syntax as well as understanding of some of the object-oriented programming concepts. Here's what you should know before starting. Basic data types such as integers, doubles, floats, and chars should be familiar. Other data types such as strings and arrays will also be quite useful to you throughout this series. An understanding of the method structure is also required. You will also benefit from knowing how to send and retrieve data from methods as well as method overloading. Understanding how classes work will also be extremely important. Knowing how to build classes, creating instances or objects of these classes is very important. You will also want to make sure you know how to add and access members and properties of classes as we will be playing around with class properties quite a bit. Finally, having a basic understanding of class object inheritance will be useful for some of our more advanced topics in the later portion of the series. Alright, I've told you what you need to know, but what will you learn? We will first be looking at how you can build graphical user interfaces, or GUI for short, to make your programs fun to look at as well as easier to use. Next, I will be giving you a basic introduction to multi-threading, which is the ability to have processes running concurrently in your programs. We won't be going over this too much in detail, as it is a very deep topic, but I will help you get the training wheels on so that you are more comfortable expanding this knowledge on your own. We will also look at some advanced graphics and multimedia programming. This will cover drawing, adding images, sounds, and even videos to your programs. After that, we will learn how to manipulate files using C Sharp. This will include creating new files and adding to existing files within the program itself. Finally, we will look how, at how we can store, save, and retrieve data from databases as well as introduce ADO.NET, a part of the .NET framework which can be used to help you perform these tasks. Throughout the series, I will be using Visual C Sharp Express Edition IDE. For the sake of consistency, I would recommend that you do the same. You can download the IDE from the link shown on the screen, or head over to Google and type Visual C Sharp Express 2010. The link on the top should take you to the page where you can choose the Express Edition you require. That about covers it in this introduction video. I hope that you're excited and ready to start diving deeper into the world of C-Sharp and .NET. 